In this video, we'll discuss the topic of an amended tax return. Basically, how do we do it in the tax program? The way the software works, whenever a return is in accepted status, it will then pull the data forward into the original column on the form 1040X. Now, if you recall, on the federal 1040X, we have three columns. The original amount, or as previously adjusted, in other words, the way that the return was originally accepted. We have the net change, and then we have the correct amount. So if I'm in an amended return, which you can see here is a menu item, it's going to take me to the amended tax return screen. First, it gives me instructions on how to amend the return. This is basically a tutorial. Then we have the original federal return information. So again, if this return had been in accepted mode, this screen would pull in all of the existing tax return data. You would then go make your changes, explain the changes, and print the amended return. But because our dummy practice return has not been accepted and we take taxpayer data very seriously, we can't show you any live data. But what I've done is taken this client's tax return and filled in the numbers on the tax return the way that the tax return was originally filed. For instance, the adjusted gross income, 26500 standard deduction, 9300 tax worked out to be 913 but she got a child tax credit of 913 which offset these taxes there were no other taxes on the return she had a thousand dollars withheld from her w-2 and two thousand forty one dollars of earned income credit the total amount of her overpayment including an additional child tax credit was thirty one twenty eight so again what I've done is just manually filled in the figures that would appear on the original column of the form 1040X. So what I'm going to do now is scroll down and click continue. And now I'm going to select the option to make the corrections for the amended return. I'll click begin. It tells me that I'll be taken to the main menu of the account then I can add edit or remove information as needed then once I'm done select 2016 amended return to come back where I can create state amended if it's applicable and or print the amended return so I'll click continue and for this client we're going to add a W2 so I'm going to click the edit button and I'm going to click on add a W-2 wage statement and just in the interest of saving time I've gone ahead and entered the W-2 information that we're going to use for our amended return she had wages of $1,500 and $400 in federal tax withheld so I'm going to scroll down and click continue and so now you can see where I've added the additional W-2 to this return. So I'm going to go back now to the 2016 amended return section. I'm going to explain the changes. So I'm going to click begin and we'll just say that we added the W-2. Click continue and I'll print the amended return and here you can see our printed copy of the 1040X, the way the return was originally filed, the additional W-2, the corrected amount of the wages, and if we scroll down it looks like our client is due an additional ten dollars of refund. So now to reiterate from the amended tax return screen click the original federal return information after the return has been accepted, the client's data will fill in. You'll go back to the federal section, make any changes, and then print the amended return. Now, what if this was a, not a return, 
that you sent off and you need to recreate the return as it was originally transmitted. In other words, the client went to another office. Then you can go into this screen and type in the info that's on the 1040 that your client brought to you. Now we give little hints on where the data is located for adjusted gross income and so forth. In other words, if your client previously filed a 1040, the AGI is going to be on line 38 and so forth. So if you're correcting someone else's problems, then this is a quick way to override what was previously done. Now hopefully all this was helpful and hopefully we showed you how easy it is to prepare an amended return in the ProWeb software. And again, thanks for watching.